This is Jim Williams with the Hurricane City Tropical Update for July 20th, 3.30 p.m. Here's the latest on Invest 97L, just northeast of Hispaniola this afternoon. And the system is trying to get its act together, but it's still tangling with an upper level low to its northwest. And I'll get to the details on that in just a minute. But it is uh, hanging on here as it moves generally west. The question is, is it going to pass north of Hispaniola or is it going to pass through Hispaniola and into Cuba? And we'll get to that scenario in just a minute. The models have shifted north just a little bit from where they were yesterday in the tropical update video. And the models yesterday were indicating this is going to plow through Cuba. But now they've shifted a little bit to the north. And I think the reasoning is, is the high pressure ridge out in the Atlantic is going to weaken just a tad and allow this to travel more west-northwest in the coming days. And then later in the period, the high pressure is going to build back in again and shove this more further to the west. So it's a question of how far north is this going to get? Where is it going to actually develop once it becomes a tropical depression, if it becomes a tropical depression? And these are all unanswered questions, and it's very difficult to track a system when you don't know where the center of circulation is. But the early models indications from this map here at Hurricane City, uh, the GFDL is the further most north model, and that takes it up near Cape Canaveral, uh, just shy of hurricane status. The National Hurricane Center forecast takes this right into Broward County, uh, as well as the GFS as a uh, uh, strong tropical storm. Uh, the Canadian model and the BAM models here indicate this will uh, travel through the Florida Keys and the, uh, uh, the uh, LBAR model here wants to take this through the Florida Straits and into the Gulf of Mexico. At any rate, regardless of which one of these models turns out to be true, South Florida, the, the Bahamas, and, and the northern coast of Cuba need to pay very close attention to the future of Invest 97L. All right, let's take a look at a close-up visible shot of our system from NASA. And we can see that the circulation looks to be forming somewhere here in the... Uh, yeah, maybe closer to Hispaniola here, if we uh, telestrate a little bit, probably the circulation is somewhere in here. Um, but the thing is, the pressures are not very low in this area, and there are no west winds at all down here, mainly just southeasterly and easterly winds all through this whole area here. So there's not really a closed low-level circulation. If there's any circulation, it might be in the mid-levels of the atmosphere. But this is still going to have trouble developing because of the close proximity to an upper-level low. All right, here's the upper level winds from the University of Wisconsin, and we can see that we have 30 to 40 knots of shear just north of Hispaniola, right where the system's trying to develop, and that's going to disrupt development of the system for, for the next couple of days anyway. And there's an upper level low right to its north, and that's moving sort of in tandem with this system off to the west-southwest, and that's going to uh, disrupt development, and that's why many of the models don't indicate that this is going to strengthen a lot. It might get up to tropical storm status, but we're, we're doubtful this is going to reach hurricane status because of this upper level low. So the folks in South Florida can rest a little bit easier knowing this isn't going to turn into anything significant because of this upper level low, but if this upper level low was not there, this would be uh, have a chance to become quite a significant system because we have very warm sea surface temperatures out in front of this. Now here is the upper level divergence and this is the air that travels up into the atmosphere and spreads out and you can see we have a lot of it right over our system trying to develop right here so this is favorable upper level support right over where the system is developing uh, but notice out here in front of it it's not very good it's squashing sinking area out in front of this and this is in combination with that upper level low so it's heading into an area that's not really that favorable uh, right now it's getting a little bit of a break in the upper levels but that upper low is moving in tandem, and it's not going to be an ideal situation for development. Now, here is the convergence at the surface, and again, that's looking rather good for the system right between Hispaniola and Puerto Rico. And uh, the, the convergence is not the problem, it's the divergence, what happens with the air when it gets up into the upper levels and then gets blown off by the upper level low. Here's the wind shear tendency, and the areas where we see white lines which are right here where the system is trying to develop and through the Bahamas is increasing wind shear. So again, not very favorable for development of Invest 97L. Here's the wind shear in 48 hours according to the GFS. Uh, notice in here we have 30 knots of shear just northeast of the Bahamas 
going off to the northeast. And our system at that time should be right in here in the southern Bahamas somewhere. So it's going to be in a somewhat, uh, not really that unfavorable, but it's going to have a little bit of higher wind shear just to the north of it. Now if we look at the water vapor loop of uh, the Atlantic Basin, you can see that the upper level low is moving in tandem with this and it's moving off to the southwest and here it is right here and I pointed this out in yesterday's video and when you have an upper level low you have wind shear out of the west at around 25 to 30 knots right near the system and that's what's happening right now it's trying to hang on though despite that upper level low so again it's going to be a battle between these two systems to see which one wins out but uh, the question is how strong is this high pressure going to be out here we have a, about a 1025 pressure high out here that's steering the system off to the west uh, now there's going to be a little bit of a weak here, weakness in the high pressure here in about 48 hours which would allow more of a jog to the northwest but then the high pressure is going to build in again and shove it off to the west into the Gulf of Mexico the question is where is it going to come in shore uh, up near Cape Canaveral or is it going to go through the Florida Straits that's the million dollar question it all depends on where the center of circulation ends up forming out of 97L. Now the hurricane hunters are forecast to go in there tomorrow afternoon so we'll know a lot more about 97L tomorrow afternoon. Our other system over here got wrapped up in this upper level low in the Gulf of Mexico and that's following in behind it. Very disorganized so the only game in town right now is this system right here near the Greater Antilles. Look at the sea surface temperatures this is heading into. Right now the system is in temperatures that are around uh, 83, 84 degrees, but when it gets over here in the Bahamas, we have some upper temperatures in the upper 80s in here near Andros Island, so that's going to be fuel for this as it gets into a more favorable environment here in about 48 hours. So again, that's why the thinking is this could get up to tropical storm status, but the thinking right now is not that this is going to become a hurricane because of that upper level low that's tangling with it. All right, uh, the oil cams. We continue to monitor the oil cams in the Gulf of Mexico. This is one cam we've been keeping a close eye on. This ROV has been looking all over the bed of the Gulf of Mexico around the well to see if there's any leaks. So we're going to mainly focus on this cam on HurricaneCity.tv. And again, tomorrow afternoon we'll have the Hurricane Hunter fixes on the live feed at HurricaneCity.tv as well. Well, that's it for now. We'll continue to monitor 97L. Thank you again for visiting Hurricane City.